All right. Hallelujah. Good morning. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the world. Hallelujah. This is Pastor Dow. Oh, it's early in the morning. I had something on my heart, for, so I thought I'd come in here and talk to you for a minute. Do you know the reason why a lot of people are leaving um, this so-called thing called a Christianity or being a Christian? And a lot of people are going over to another religion uh, called Islam. I got one word for you. Discipline. You see, Islam is a religion of discipline. Christianity is an offshoot of the Romans and the Greeks. And if you know anything about the history of the Romans and Greeks, um, you know that they were pedophiles. Um, you know that they were homosexuals. Um, and of course, it's no surprise to me whatsoever at all when you see um, all these homosexual so-called quote-unquote big-time preachers um, sodomizing teenagers and children. Uh, this spirit is running rampant everywhere, especially here in the United States. Um, that's why, um, or one of the reasons why, that we would never ascribe to a religion called Christianity. I mean, just up here in this little small town I live at, um, it's nothing for a man uh, to commit adultery three, four, five, six times, and then um, when he gets caught, all of a sudden he's called to preach. Oh, and then I guess that alleviates everything. And then you watch him for about a week or two, uh, maybe a month or two, all of a sudden he ain't even in church no more. You see, the problem is because we don't deal with things the way that the Bible says. You know, you can read in here over and over again about how many times people had evil devil spirits many times we will say that person got the devil in them but because you are ignorant of the devil's devices and because you're ignorant and won't do what Jesus told you to do did he not say these signs shall fall them that believe in my name they shall cast out devils hey you ain't seen nothing yet all the rest of these big mega churches who have these mega ministries you're going to find out these women are dykes they're homosexuals you're going to find out a lot of these big time preachers that they are homosexuals too. You know, that's got to be one of the nastiest, vilest, corrupt things that there is. No wonder, no wonder the Most High destroyed a whole city because of that spirit. Is that not sick? So you have pedophiles in the church. You've got homosexuals. You have um, you can't even go to church today where your sons and your daughters are safe because you, you've got some um, dyke looking at your daughter or or some preacher looking at your son's booty. And he got all these crazy thoughts coming into his mind. And of course then, you know, there's no discipline in the religion whatsoever at all. If you look at the people who call themselves Christians and you walk outside your front door and you go out there into that city, What's the difference between you and them? There's no difference. You see, the king said, Holiness, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Most High. And a lot of you ain't going to see him. Not as the Most High, you're not. You're going to see him as judge. You're going to go to hell. Um, I just had a pastor friend not too long ago who churches all up and down the East Coast over there. We went to one of them. Just that nasty homosexual spirit is that perverted spirit is all up and down the coast. Now wait a minute. You people say that. And I went up to Ohio, talked to a guy. He and, and you know, and everybody wanna take me on the chin because I keep telling the people what the problem is, is these folks are full of devils. Of course you know what you come up with, don't you? Come up with your old cliche. Christian can't have no devils, okay? So you're filled with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit has you to spread your booty wide and allow these men to insert themselves into the into the thing that, that um, a bunch of mess comes out in a drop. You know, I'm not even going to get graphic with it. You already know. And then you get these sick preachers up there um, on, you know, the, the CNN interviews more homosexual and faggot preachers. And then they turn around and, and try to condemn the uh, everybody else who's clean. 
No, sin is sin. And that's just all there is to it. That's the reason why you people need to get out of this, this pagan religion called Christianity. You need to take your sons, your daughters, and yourselves. You need to flee. You need to come to holiness. That's why Pastor Dow is in Israel. Not only that, because, you know, there's nowhere in here that tells you to be a Christian. You can't find one place in this place that tells you to be a Baptist. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. See if you can find anywhere in here where it tells you to be a Christian, a Baptist, a Methodist, an Apostolic, a, Co a Catholic, a Pentecostal, a Seventh-day Adventist, a Jehovah Witness, a Mormon. I don't care what flavor you pick. It's not in here. It's not there. You see, you people are in religion. And since Christianity is a Roman Catholic offshoot, uh, there's a spirit that follows that religion. That's why perversion is running rampant in Christianity. And it's going to keep on. But I tell you what, mark my words. You're going to see more of these big time mega church ministries falling. Look at them. They're supposed to be so holy and they so much in love. And the divorce rate amongst men, so called ministers. And then, oh, don't let me get started on women preaching. Oh, God of mercy. You people being fleeced, you're being duped. Holiness, without which no man shall see the most high. Come out of her, my people. I'm telling you. Christianity is a habitation of devils. And that is the truth. Now, you know, every one of them claim to have the Holy Spirit, speak with tongues as the Spirit get the utterance, but then they're a lesbian, they're a homosexual. Oh, I got to be honest with my sexuality. You're going to be honest with it, all right? And you know, you can, no matter how many times, they know what it says, mankind should not lie with mankind as he does a woman. It is an abomination. So the problem that people don't want to call today is that people have been given up over to a reprobate mind. You know what that means? That means the thing that you have been doing so long it has now become truth to you. And now you justify it. And you know the sick thing about this is is that they take our Israelite book, our Hebrew heritage, and they use it for their wickedness. And, it, and it's, hey, they're already going to hell. That's all there is to it. But the sad part about it is, is that you people will not wake up. See, the reason why you, many of you don't come out of your church is because you women, you love your earrings. You love your makeup. Have you ever did a study on all this stuff? That's the reason why um, women left and right, especially educated women, and men left and right, they're fleeing that sorry, sad, sick religion called Christianity. And they're going to other places that has more discipline. See, there's not, much of a, there's not many of us Israelites out here. People are getting sick and tired of that. They want a higher call. They want to be holy. They know that there's more. Well, anyway, you folks get ready because a lot more, a lot more of your big time mega churches, prosperity preachers, they all coming down. And that is the truth. I know it's hard hitting, but it's the truth.